Hi, my name is Catherine Brady. I'm the Immigration Department Head here at MLFA. I'm going to share with you in this video some things that I think are important for international scholars and students to know when they're navigating the waters of free speech, social media, and campus protests. So there are other departments uh, and other opportunities for you to learn from videos about your general free speech rights, but I want you to understand that you have rights in the United States, even as someone who is not a US citizen or a lawful permanent resident. And these are guaranteed by our constitution and apply to you as you are asserting your right to protest against the atrocities in Gaza. And you need to really look at these and understand that they give you some protection and also, I'm going to tell you about how you need to follow some other rules to give you yourself more protection. You should understand, too, that the First Amendment applies to the government. So that means it does not apply the same way to private schools. Those schools have written policies, procedures, and those will address the rules of students' right to free speech. And even at the public universities, the state universities, the Supreme Court of the US has said that those universities can limit the time, place, and manner of political demonstrations and political events, even as they protect free speech. And so you need to understand those rules and what your school has given as those restrictions. But really, as an international scholar or student, what you need to understand is your risks are higher than the average person on campus. If you are expelled or suspended for, from school and can no longer maintain your course of study, that is going to affect your ability to have F1 student status, and it's possible that that could be terminated. If you're convicted of a crime, it may also be difficult for you to get a visa or other immigration benefits in the future. That could be reported to ICE, and sometimes that could be reported to the U.S. consulate abroad. One main rule, and I can't stress this enough, is that anytime you are either speaking to law enforcement, to immigration, or filling out an application, you should always be completely truthful if you've had these instances. And understand any time that you have encountered law enforcement, whether you need to answer yes to questions about whether you are arrested, charged, or convicted. And that's a very case-specific uh, question. So understand what happened in your case. And if you don't understand, you should talk either to your criminal lawyer if you had a criminal case, or please consult with an immigration lawyer. As MLFA's immigration department, we can give you some general advice on free speech and social media and these peaceful protests that are occurring on campuses across the US um, and what your immigration risks are. We as an organization have many Know Your Rights training and information sessions, and I do encourage you to go look at those. We can also give you some general advice on how your F1 student status might be affected if you are suspended or expelled. The other thing is that we can tell you even more, as we have seen in our practice, um, how immigration agencies may look at what you have said and who you have associated with when you are applying for future immigration benefits or even when trying to re-enter the United States from travel abroad. If you have more questions and you think you have something case specific, either for our department or one of the other departments, the federal criminal defense, the civil litigation or the nonprofit practice group, please do apply for that assistance. We look forward to hearing from those of you who need extra help and also to having you guys join us for many of these sessions and watch our videos. Thank you, have a good day.